Hey everybody, so I'm going to do a midweek catch up here, uh, not getting much in this week, but I uh, got uh, three TTMs, two private signings, and uh, unfortunately one RTS, which I will show off. Jim Acker is done at this address, unfortunately, and this is the second time, I've tried it twice thinking maybe it was an error by the post office the first time because I sent it out, got an RTS, so I was going to wait a while to see if a new address posted, but I kept seeing tons of successes still coming in from this address. So I tried it again, and once again it's an RTS, and now I see everybody else is getting the RTS too. So that's unfortunate because I do need him for my uh, mother's cookie set. All right, on to the TTMs. Is a my first one's a two of three success in eight days from the great signer Bill Stein, signed the eighty-one Fleer and the eighty-one Don Russ. And he did not sign my custom index card, which is a bummer. Really looking forward to getting my first one of those back signed. I did a little more research and it does not appear that he signs index cards. So, oh, maybe he does a private signing someday and I can get him to sign it that way. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I try it again and slip him five bucks or something. Who knows? Alrighty, next one is a three of three in 15 days. This person is a $10 per. Oh, and, uh, I guess he's a Hall of Famer. Could probably mention that. We got the Moose, Mike Moosina. My tricky red card. Love getting those signed. There, I guess we can should display that. We got him on the 93 Donruss Diamond King. And the 94 Fleer All-Star. Which I do love this subset. I did see on a Facebook group one time a guy got this complete set signed. And he had them all hanging up in a picture frame mounted on the wall. And it was pretty amazing. Alright, and the final TTM is a 4 of 4 in 20 days. I did slip him five bucks because I've gotten him before. We got Juan Gonzalez on another 94 Fleer All-Star. The 92 Donruss Diamond King. And uh, this uh, 94 Fleer art card. It's a pretty silly card. Thought it would be great for the collection. And the Upper Deck Collector's Choice Checklist 93 Upper Deck. I love getting these signed too. I just like art cards. Any kind of art card there. They're always fun, I think. Alrighty. And the two private signings. I got Tough Signature to get here. Preston Wilson. Excellent player. Probably one of the more underrated players now that we go back in time. Kind of forget here that uh, he could mash. Yeah, 2003, at 141 RBI. 36 homers. It was rocky there. Yeah, so. I don't think uh, the course field effect has any effect on batting average. I've seen people... Try and say that. I don't think that's true, but it definitely affects home run numbers. But people don't care about batting averages anymore for some reason. Never thought I'd see the day where guys who can't bat their own weight would be on the all-star team. Anyways, and the last one, we've got uh, Steve Henderson, or as uh, Tony Black would call him, Cubs great, Cubs legend, Steve Henderson. A couple of Mariners cards, the 85 Fleer and the 85 Tops. All right, guys, that is my midweek mail recap.
thanks for watching. Hope you guys are all having a great week and have an even better rest of your week. See you later.